Today, a 7 Action News investigation officially changed the law in Michigan. The governor signed new legislation increasing protections for families after a loved one dies. 7 Investigator Heather Catalo has been leading the way on this for more than a year, and she joins us now with the latest. Heather. Glenda, we've been exposing a disturbing pattern of some public officials and real estate brokers taking over probate estates after someone dies, which meant the rightful heirs were losing out on a lot of money. Now the law is changing to keep this from happening again. How can they lay their head down on their pillow at night? Joanne Zaremba was one of several rightful heirs in Metro Detroit who say they were blindsided when someone else opened a probate estate in a deceased relative's name. That meant Joanne could have lost her late mother's home to a complete stranger. Here's how it worked. Macomb County real estate broker Ralph Roberts teamed up with attorney general appointed lawyers called public administrators to open up probate estates after a death. Roberts and his company, Probate Asset Recovery, use that power from the court to sell the homes and take thousands of dollars from the probate estates, often leaving the rightful heirs with very little. Our reporting prompted officials in Oakland County and the Attorney General to push for new legislation to better protect families in probate court. On Tuesday, Governor Rick Snyder signed those changes into law. Now you'll have 63 days instead of just 42 to open the estate in your loved one's name. If a public administrator fails to give proper notice to an heir, he or she can be found guilty of a crime. And among other things, real estate fees in these cases will be capped, which means brokers can no longer take excessive fees at the expense of the rightful heirs. We will not back down from any fight. Uh, even if it involves a well-heeled realtor uh, or a bunch of very powerful probate judges uh, who tried to make uh, uh, to derail this thing. Oakland County Treasurer Andy Meisner helps lead the bipartisan charge to change the law. And we had the constant drumbeat uh, of stories that just got worse and worse that you chronicled. Um, and I think that that is a, a major factor in why the legislature felt like, hey, you know what, we need to deal with this one and we need to deal with it quickly. Public Acts 13 and 14 of 2018 will take effect in 90 days. I'll have more information about the changes to the law at WXYZ.com. Dave. Great work, Heather, and uh, important work as well. So congratulations on that.